And good afternoon. We are certainly feeling warm and summer like our temperature is 84 in New Orleans and notice our dew point has hit 70 degrees. So definitely feeling a little bit more like that summer feel with the humidity rising just a touch could be worse, but certainly hot and humid temperatures right now in the middle 80s and our feels like temperature not terrible upper 80s right now. And we do have partly cloudy skies with those cumulus clouds beginning to build. Live radar shows a couple of showers off of our coast and today a little quick moving disturbance might help a couple of showers to form, but notice our model is doing a good job showing where the rain at the moment is. So let's fast forward to see what might pop up. You can see it has a shower or storm around Terrebonne and Lafourche maybe for this afternoon, maybe three or four. A little bit of rain, perhaps a little farther west than that. We have the high pressure still, especially off to the east of us, so we're still under the influence of that mostly. But you can see around Baton Rouge, it has a little bit of rain around 7, 8 p.m. And then by tonight, everything will be calming down if we do see a small flare up of a bit of that spotty rain. So shouldn't be anything too terrible or severe or anything like that today. Highs may get close to that 88 or 89 degree mark, and we've been talking about maybe hitting 90 later this week, but we're just not seeing it quite yet. Our feels like temperatures today may be getting into the lower 90s and then dropping through the 80s. Overnight, we'll be looking for our temperatures uh, eventually in the 60s to about 70. Here we are at Hammond. Uh, radar showing a little bit of clutter there, about 89, we'll say, for the high there today. And Hammond, or excuse me, tonight we'll have our North Shore lows, including Hammond and other spots around 65. South South of the lake will say about 70 and the evenings have been just so pleasant and I hope you enjoy them. This evening will be just dropping gently through the 70s, mostly clear skies and you probably saw the beautiful full moon last night. We'll have another nice looking moon tonight and into tomorrow, just not officially full. Our next decent rain chance actually comes this weekend. So we're at Wednesday now, a couple of Mostly dry days are coming up Thursday and Friday, maybe just a stray afternoon shower. That's about it. And then you can see our rain chance goes up on Saturday as a front moves in, and it looks like probably afternoon would be the most likely time for rain Saturday. This is early midnight or so starting overnight Friday and into early Saturday. This is noon, some scattered showers and storms. This is 5 and 6 p.m. So this particular model has it a bit earlier in the day, slacking off almost completely, maybe as early as about 10. This is the European model I'm showing. The GFS has everything a little bit later, so it does have some into the evening. And then this is by Sunday morning. Things are much quieter by then. How much rain? Well, our models are showing up to about a half inch from the Euro, very similar half inch to maybe an inch or so with the GFS. So we'll be gearing up for some rain and we'll have to kind of see how the situation shapes up as far as getting any sort of severe weather. We're a little ways out, so we'll just kind of wait and see. But with that front moving in, our temperatures, you know, on the warming side for certainly at least Friday, Saturday, we'll have to see whether any of those storms are able to become a little bit strong, but it doesn't look at this point like a huge severe weather outbreak or anything like that. Sunday, we may have a couple of showers lingering and then into Memorial Day. It's looking fine and you know, not as hot as it might be for a Memorial Day weekend, middle to upper 80s. In fact, our temperatures get knocked down a little bit. You can see with that front humidity may drop just a touch, probably not enough to make a big difference, but you might notice a little bit of that on Sunday and then early next week brings us back uh, for more of the same pretty much of what we're seeing this week.